The item I'm unboxing and giving a first impression on today is dominated by two colors. Uh, amber yellow color represented by the gold here and a dark blue color represented by the dark blue. Um, the item is a fountain pen and it's from Visconti. No relation to the channel and nothing to do with my channel. I just like Visconti pens. Uh, it's a Visconti Van Gogh series. Uh, it's called Cafe Terrace at Night is the name of the actual pen. If you're wondering what Cafe Terrace at Night looks like, there it is. So we have a painting here by Van Gogh in his later years. And we have an abundance of an amber yellow light on the cafe. And then on the other side, uh, dominated by, this is actually dark blue, not black. Uh, dark blue, we have a gorgeous uh, sky with uh, dark blue and, and yellow stars. And we have amber light coming out of the windows. We have a little crowd scene going on here with 12 people seated, a uh, dark figure either entering or exiting the cafe. We have a central figure here. Could be a waiter, could be something else Vincent was trying to convey. We've got activity on the street. We've got nice cobblestones uh, on the street here. So it's a delightful painting. Um, I would recommend getting a print of it if, if you're into it. Uh, I can't hang it on a wall here because uh, I don't decorate with uh, with artwork like that. But uh, anyways, let's get into the unboxing. Um, I, uh, I'm hoping for a pen that has um, more yellow in it than blue because you get the luck of the draw. Uh, the resin pens vary from pen to pen and if you prefer, if you see a shot on someone's website and it looks great, the pen you actually receive might be completely different than what you see because uh, they pick the best pens they have and they take that shot and you're hoping to get that, but you might not. Uh, and by the way, this was from Pen World in the EU and I just discovered them and they are about... Uh, 26% less uh, on this particular pen, anyways, than uh, U.S. sellers. And to top it off, they shipped it in uh, three business days uh, from the EU to mainland U.S. and delivered to my door within three days for $9 via DHL. I thought that was a pretty good deal. It takes me usually longer than... Um, three days to get something from the U.S. to U.S. Okay, so I'm going to begin the unboxing. I don't know how much tape they have here, but uh, you see we've got a piece here. Let's see. Um, Van Gogh did masterpieces. He was not widely recognized at the time, but uh, he certainly is today. And many of his paintings sell in the tens of millions. Okay, there we go. Okay, I got a little note there. Here we have a little bit of uh, paper. And there it is. Let's see, there's something over here. Looks like a lemon drop. Lemon drops over there, candy. And we have the actual pen. And it's wrapped in paper. So I'm going to try to preserve this paper and I'll take it off. Try to just cut through it so I can retain it because I like to keep extra stuff like this. Okay, I think I got that. Let's see, on the bottom, we have one more piece of tape. I'll open that now. And that should do it. I think it should open now. Nope. Another piece over here. And probably one on this side, too. Nope. Okay, we're good. Okay. I'm taking the paper off. And here's the box. And the box has a horizontal shot uh, of the um, painting. 
cafe terrace at night. So you don't really see the starry sky. On the actual print, you can see the starry sky. So I'm glad I have that print. And now we'll open the box and I'm just dying to see which pen I got, what the exact colors are. But uh, before I find out, I'm going to put this on top. I'm going to open up this envelope. And we have Visconti, uh, different languages, uh, technical details, the collection, the colors. And uh, Cafe Terrace at Night, I believe might be this one that might be wheat field i'm not sure but uh hopefully it's mostly yellow for me and and then blue but uh i'll have to find out here so we have that booklet and now we can get to the pen so this is the big reveal here see if i my expectations were met Yes, they were. They were. Um, this pen has a lot of uh, yellow gold accents uh, dominating the uh, blue, which is what I wanted. Um, it has a removable finial at the top where you can uh, replace it with a semi-precious stone uh, or your initials. You can go on Visconti's website and order those things. And it's magnetic, so you just take a strong magnet and it pulls off. Now, this pen is um, has like 18 faucets in it, so it gives it an interesting texture. And it has magnetic closure. So you pull it off, and there's the uh, infamous Visconti nib. I hope uh, I don't have a problem with this nib, but... You know, I, I won't write that much with it probably anyways. So uh, I'm hoping for the best, but, you know, whatever. Um, now, an unusual thing on, my, on these uh, Visconti pens is the, is the um, a clip. A clip, you, you can just, you have to pull it up a little bit with your fingers, as you probably know, and then it slides into your pocket. And spring loaded, so it closes. Now, what I don't like about the clip is that it can come out. It's not a real strong, um, secure way to uh, attach the clip uh, to your shirt or pocket or whatever. So you have to be careful if you use this pen and carry it around on you. Uh, I'm very pleased with the color on this pen. Um, it has a should be a converter. Oh, don't oh, wait a minute. What happened? There it is. Okay, the converter wasn't attached to the pin, but uh, so it has a converter. I'll push it in there. Oh. Oh, should just pop in there. I've got extra converters, so I'm not concerned. It's just your standard international converter. Um, anyways, uh, I want to end this by, uh, saying a couple of things Vincent said about, uh, about the night sky. Um, Vincent Van Gogh said, the starry night is made more alive and richer colored than the day. And he also said, I believe that an abundance of gaslight, which after all is yellow and orange, intensifies the blue starry sky. Now, he also uh, produced two paintings after this. This is the first with the starry sky. Um, I think the next one was uh, Starry Sky Over the Rhone, not to be confused with, uh, or Starry Night, Starry Night Over the Rhone, not to be confused with Starry Night, the famous painting he did. Um, and anyways, this is the first of the three that he did in 1888. And he passed away. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to remember the exact year, but uh, he passed away within a couple of years of, of his Starry Sky work uh, by suicide. So that's unfortunate we lost him. 
but he really contributed to the art movement uh, over the time period he was painting and creating. So uh, I I would like to, uh, you know, just say, hey, thanks, uh, Vincent, for the work you've done. And thank you, Visconti, for the work you've done. I think this is really nice pen, and I think it will probably hold its value uh, over time. And, uh, well, that's it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm not a pen reviewer. Uh, you know, there's professional pen reviewers on, uh, on YouTube, and they go through the whole procedure of inking the pen up and, and doing great handwriting samples. Well, I'm not there yet. <laughs> so I just, uh, I see things that appeal to me and I go off on these tangents and I just start buying and collecting things, uh, often against, uh, economic realities. So, uh, then I'll reach a point where I'll stop. You know, I won't collect that item anymore, but, um, uh, this, this is the pin and it comes in several different, uh, um, resembles several different, uh, works of art that Vincent did. So, um, you can, uh, check them out and check out Visconti's website and see what you like. Okay. Well, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.